From Aristotle to Newton to Paris, the science and history points one way along the Antilles. Somewhere along this starlit road to the speed of light, something must give. That we know. Mass? Well, mass could swell. A spooky prospect. So what if the variable factor that simply had to give under the power of this tremendous velocity is time? Suitably, for the subject of relativity, this film comes to you from two entirely different reference frames. First is me, here, now, although that's for you, her, there, then, a few days ago. And of course this few days stretches higher up the t-axis with every passing moment. The other reference frame for this film comes from another me, 100 miles away and two years ago, long before this reference frame ever existed. I'm 13 now, and was 11 then. Or, I'm 11 now, and will be 13 then. Fortunately, this is one twin paradox that is a complete illusion. Either way, because I am called Rebecca, let's call my earlier space-time coordinates R, and my later ones R prime. From here in my R prime perspective, what really intrigued me about my R self, portraying Einstein in a fake moustache and a lit-up hat, like some old-world European detective, is my personal identification with him. I had plenty of boys around who I could have cast in the role, but one of my motives for creating the film in 2011 was biographically personal. I had just learned that I was albeit tangentially, and through the marriage of a distant cousin, related to Albert Einstein. Thus my 11-year-old self felt an absolute connection with Albert, even though I was, I admit, struggling with some of his theories. But even then, I knew Albert's genius was to have found a phenomenal energy source trapped inside mass, that he had found a constant by which to calibrate it, that is, c squared, and that to probe this great equation of e equals mc squared in any depth meant making some very strange discoveries about time. Just as I said in 2011, when I played Albert back in my R frame of reference, at t equals minus two years from this present moment. <laughs> From Aristotle to Newton to Paris, the science and history points one way along the Antilles. Somewhere along this starlit road to the speed of light, something must give. That we know. Mass? Well, mass could swell. A spooky prospect. So what if the variable factor that simply had to give under the power of this tremendous velocity is time? And here I am, back in our prime, hopefully in my prime, about to complete my first course in relativity. Whatever our frame of reference in the unfolding destiny of space-time, whatever our own peculiar time-like, space-like, or light-like coordinates, whatever our current level of learning and understanding, the message that I, reflected in R and R prime, am beginning to learn from Albert, is that with his help, the future is ours for the taking, right now. <laughs>